Hello everyone, welcome to Success Education. Today we are going to do the workbook solution for social science for standard 7th chapter number 5 that is Adivasis. Don't forget to hit the like, share and comment button and please do subscribe my channel for more videos just the same. So now we'll be starting with the NCQs. First one, where does the constitution of India include Adivasi groups? who protect traditional culture it's option number a in schedule second one by what name are the adivasi groups known in the constitution of india it's option number d scheduled tribes third which word is used for tribe it's option number a adivasi fourth one by what practice were the members of each tribe connected with one another it's option number d tribal that is kabila's practice Fifth one, which factors had the greatest impact on the lives of the tribal people? It's option number A, forests and nature. Sixth one, which principle is found in the economy of tribal people? It's option number B, community living. Seventh, about whom have contemporary historians and travelers given very little information? It's option number A, tribes. Eighth, which tradition do present day historians use to write the history of tribes? It's option number B, oral. Ninth, what creates the distinctive identity of the tribal people living in different areas of Gujarat? It's option number C, attire and ornaments. Tenth one, what has the tribal community been a lover and preserver of? It's option number D, nature. Eleventh one, due to what has Adivasi or tribal society changed in present time? It's option number B, spread of education. Twelfth, whom did the Mughal Emperor Akbar appoint as Mansabdar? It's option number A, Kamal Khan Gakhar. Thirteenth, one, which tribes ruled Multan and Sindh before the Mughals? It's option number B, Langha and Argun. Fourteenth, which tribe was divided into small clans with different leaders? It's option number D, Baloch. Fifteenth, who ruled on some parts of present Bihar and Jharkhand till the twelfth century? It's option number B, Chair Chiefs. Sixteenth one, which general of Akbar attacked the Chair tribe and defeated them in 90, uh, 1591 AD? It's option number A, Raja Man Singh. Seventeenth, which were the two important tribes of present Bihar and Jharkhand area? It's option number D, Munda and Santhal. Eighteenth, at present, the highest population of which tribe have Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra and Andhra Pradesh? It's option number D, Gond. 19th, Gujarat and Madhya Pradesh were the provinces of which chiefs? It's option number C, Bheel. 20th, which tribe is one of the oldest tribes of India? It's option number B, Gon. 21, how was the administrative system of Gon state? It's option number D, centralized. 22nd, Gon king Sangram Shah's son, Dalpat, married which princess of Chandel Rajput, king of Mahoba? It's option number C, Durgavati. 23rd, by the trade of what did the state of Gadkatang make plenty of money? It's option number D, elephants. 24th, after conquering the kingdom of Gadkatang, to which uncle of Veer Narayan did Mughals give some part of kingdom? It's option number B, Chandar Shah. 25th, the Khan kingdom weakened after the Gadkanga's decline. Could not withstand the onslaught of whom? It's option number A, Bundels and Marathas. 26th, whose old political system did a home people change and establish a new state? It's option number A, landlord, that is Bhuya. 27th, which people could manufacture ammunition and cannons in the 17th century? It's option number D, a home. 28th, which state was based on forced labor? It's option number C, a home. 29th, of which crop did a home people discover new methods? It's option number A, paddy. 30th, what is the clan of the Ahom kingdom called? It's option number C, Khel. Now we'll continue with question number 2 that is fill in the blanks. First one, the constitution of India includes specific Adivasi groups in the schedule. Second, before independence, Adivasi society was different from other societies in some ways. Third, Present day historians use such oral traditions to write the history of the tribes. Fourth, animal husbandry played an important role in the livelihood of tribal people. Fifth, the Adivasi community performed various rituals to please gods and goddesses. Sixth, 
ट्राइबल सोसाइटी वॉज डिवाइडेड इन टू वेरियस ट्राइब्स ड्यू टू द कल्चरल चेंज इन द ट्राइब्स सेवेंथ कमल खान वॉज मेड द मनसबदार बाय अकबर एट ईच चौरासी ऑफ गॉन्ड स्टेट वॉज सब डिवाइडेड इन टू बरहोत मेड अप ऑफ ट्वेल्व विलेजेस ईच नाइन्थ इन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटी फाइव ए डी द मुगल आर्मी लेड टू आसिफ खान डिफीटेड दुर्गावती टेंथ बाय बाय कॉन्करिंग गद कटंगा गद कटंगा द मुगल्स गॉट प्लेंटी ऑफ मनी एंड एलिफेंट्स एलेवेंथ इन सिक्सटीन सिक्सटी टू ए डी द मुगल आर्मी लेड बाय मीर जुमला डिफीटेड अहोम पीपल ट्वेल्थ द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव सिस्टम ऑफ अहोम्स बिकम बिकेम सेंट्रलाइज इन द फर्स्ट डिकेड ऑफ द सेवनटीन सेंचुरी थर्टीन द क्लैन ऑफ अहोम सोसाइटी वॉज कॉल्ड खेल फोर्टीन हिंदुइजम बिकेम द मेन रिलीजन ड्यूरिंग द रेन ऑफ किंग शिव सिंह फिफ्टीन द अहोम सोसाइटी वॉज अ सिविलाइज सोसाइटी नाउ विल कंटिन्यू विद क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री दैट इज ट्रू ऑफ फॉल्स फर्स्ट वन द मेम्बर्स ऑफ ईच ट्राइब वर कनेक्टेड टू वन अनदर बाय अ जॉइंट फैमिली प्रैक्टिस इट इज फॉल्स सेकेंड द ट्राइबल पीपल यूजली लिवड इन फॉरेस्ट एंड इन एक्सेसिबल प्लेस इज इट इज ट्रू थर्ड ट्राइबल मैन इन नॉर्थ गुजरात वेयर धोती शर्ट एंड ब्लैक बुनियान इट इज फॉल्स फोर्थ इन द प्रेजेंट टाइम्स द ट्राइबल कम्युनिटी वेयर्स ट्रेडिशनल अटायर ओनली एट वेडिंग्स इट इज फॉल्स फिफ्थ द ट्राइबल ग्रुप इज अ लवर एंड प्रिजर्वर ऑफ डांस एंड इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स इट इज फॉल्स सिक्स ट्राइबल पॉपुलेशन इज फाउंड ओनली इन द साउदर्न पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया इट इज फॉल्स सेवेंथ द बलोश ट्राइब वॉज द मोस्ट पावरफुल ट्राइब इन द नॉर्थ वेस्टर्न पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया इट इज ट्रू एट इन सेवनटीन सेवनटीन सेवेंटी फाइव ए राजा मान सिंह द जनरल ऑफ अकबर attacked and defeated chair tribe it is false ninth uh, in the time of aurangzeb the mughal army invaded the chair tribe and seized power it is true tenth the ahom king of gadkanga assumed the title of sangram singh it is false eleventh the ahom people changed the old political system of the one rajas and established a new state it is false twelfth the administrative system of the ahom kingdom became centralized in the first decade of of the 17th century it is true 13th ahom people discovered new varieties of sugar cane it is false 14th ahom king donated land to temples and brahmins it is true 15th hinduism became the main religion in the time of ahom king chet singh it is false now we'll continue with question number 4 match the following first section is bihar and jharkhand it's option number 4 chair tribe second western and central india it's option option number 5 bheel tribe third one of the oldest tribes of india it's option number 1 gond and fourth one gadkanga state it's option number 2 elephant street now the second part of the match the following first one ahom people it's option number 3 innovative methods of paddy second sib singh it's option number 4 hinduism third civilized society it's option number 5 ahom society and fourth a home society it's option number 2 civilized now the third part of match the following first one western himalaya it's option number 5 gaddi gadaria second northwestern india it's option number 4 baloch third south india it's option number 2 marwad fourth valley area of brahmaputra river it's option number 1 a home now we'll continue with question number 5 that is answer in one or two sentences first one by what name are the adivasi groups known so adivasi groups are known as scheduled tribes second one what does the verse, uh, word adivasi tribe mean adivasi that is adi means from olden times and vasi means inhabitant third one what were the factors that had greatest impact on the lives of the tribes forest and nature had greatest impacts on the lives of the tribes fourth where did the tribes live tribe usually lived in forests mountains deserts and inaccessible places fifth what do present historians use to write the history of the tribes present historians use oral traditions to write the history of the tribes sixth what kind of attire do the people of tribal community wear during the during their special festivals the people of tribal community wear their traditional attire during their uh, special festivals seventh in what is the major identity of the adivasi community found the major identity of the adivasi community is found in their distinctive traditions dialects as well as festivals eighth one in what has the adivasi community of faith what do they perform 
to please them adivasi community have a faith in elements of nature and various forms of gods and goddesses they perform various rituals to please them ninth one what has changed the tribal community where are those changes seen at present tribal society has also changed like other societies due to various schemes of the government spread of education and technological development permanent houses in place of huts facilities of education modern attire and social unconscious sorry social consciousness is also seen tenth one which major tribes inhabited in punjab during 13th and 14th centuries the khokhar and gakhar tribes inhabited in punjab during the 13th and 14th centuries 11th one which tribes dominated in the north eastern region of india so naga kuki mizo ahom and other tribes dominated in the north eastern region of india 12th one who established dominance over the chair tribe how during the reign of aurangzeb the mughal army captured many forts of chair tribe and established dominance over them 13th one which tribe of india is known as gon tribe the people living in india's vast forest region called gondwana is known as gon tribe 14th one who assumed the title of sangram shah why amandas the gon king of gadkatanga assumed the title of sangram shah in order to gain recognition as a rajput 15th one who was durgavati with whom did she marry durgavati was the daughter of the chandel rajput king of mahoba she was married to dalpat the son of sangram shah 16th in whose name did durgavati rule why durgavati ruled in the name of her 5 years old son veer narayan because her husband dalpat died at a young age 17th how did the mughals get plenty of money and elephants the state of gadkatanga made plenty of money by the elephant trade by conquering gadkatanga the mughals got plenty of wealth and elephants 18th how did the ahom people establish the vast ahom kingdom the vast ahom kingdom was established in 16th century by merging chutio in 1523 ad and koch hajo that is in 1581 ad into their own kingdom and conquering the surrounding tribes 19th one on which labor was the ahom state based the ahom state was based on forced labor 20th where did all the men of the ahom tribe used to work men of the ahom tribe were active in the army during war time and at other times in public activities like farming and irrigation 21st what right had the farmer got in the ahom society the land given to the farmers by village community could not be taken back even by the king without consent of village community 22 to whom did the ahom king donate land the ahom king donated land for temples and brahmins 23 during whose reign did hinduism become the main religion during sip singh uh, reign hinduism became the main religion 24 in which language was the historical work buranji written the historical work buranji was first written in a home language and then in assamese language 25th which type of kingdoms did some tribes establish what was its result a few tribes established large powerful states with well organized administrative systems so vast empires clashed with them now we'll continue with question number 6 that is answer in brief first question on which factors does the life of tribal uh, tribes that is adivasis depend the life of the tribes depend on hunting collected forest products local agriculture animal husbandry handicrafts etc second one on what basis it can be said that ahom society was a civilized society the kingdom of ahom society used to donate land to temples brahmins poets scholars etc ahom kings adopted hinduism they promoted dramatic activity in the state in their time important literary works of sanskrit were translated into a home language the historical work named buranji was written first in a home language and then in assamese language thus it can be said that a home society was a civilized society third one how did the ahom people establish the vast ahom kingdom so in the 13th century the ahom people came to india from present myanmar and settled in the valley area of brahmaputra river in assam they changed the old political system of landlord uh, bhuya and established a new state 
A vast Ahom kingdom was established in 16th century by merging Chutio and Koch Hajo into their own kingdom and conquering the surrounding tribes. Now we'll continue with question number seven. Answer the following questions. First one: Explain the principle of community living seen in tribes. The principle of community living is based on collective life. Living in a group. Working in a group and sharing the product in a group is a philosophy of the principle of community living. The members of each tribe were connected with one another by tribal practice. That means they lived in a group. The land ownership of the tribal people was joint. The land they worked on and grown the products was distributed among the families according to their own rules. Thus, the life of the tribal people based on the principle of community living. In addition, the principle of community living is also seen in their economy as their lives are of a collective type. Second question, state the major tribes of India and their regions. Write six to seven points. The Kokhar and Gakhar were major tribes of uh, in Punjab during the 13th and 14th century. Before Mughals, Multan and Sindh were dominated by the Langha and Argum tribe. The Baloch tribe was the most powerful in the northwestern part of India. The Gaddi Gadaria tribe was the main tribe residing in the western Himalayas. The northeastern part of India was dominated by Naga, Kuki, Mizo, Ahom, and other tribes. Some areas of present Bihar and Jharkhand were dominated by the Cher chiefs till the 12th century. Koli, Berad, and some other tribes. lived in the hilly areas of karnataka and maharashtra south india was inhabited in large number by the kuraga waitar marwad and other tribes now we'll continue with question number 8 that is write a short note so first one is queen durgavati durgavati uh, durgavati was the daughter of the chandel rajput king of mahoba she was married to dalpat the son of sangram shah When Dalpat died at a young age, Durgavati took over the rule in the name of her five years old son, Veer Narayan. In 1565 A.D., the Mughal army led by Asif Khan defeated Durgavati. The queen and her son fought bravely and achieved martyrdom in the battlefield. Second one is shifting agriculture. Shifting agriculture is done in densely forested region. It is cultivated by clearing the land. by cutting down or burning forest trees after 2 3 years when the fertility of the soil decreases they leave the area and move to another area and cultivate in the same manner this method is called shifting agriculture most of the crop and vegetables are grown grown here this farming reduces the production per hectare and now here we come to the end of the chapter number 5 that is adivasis I hope you have understood the whole chapter and if you have any doubt you can write in the comment section I'll surely try to answer all the questions thank you for watching my video and please don't forget to hit the like share and comment button and do subscribe my channel for more videos thank you